Hi, welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today in this video we'll be looking at how to use Roto Transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Let's look at the features and the places where Roto Transformation can be put to use. The ideal scenario for using a Roto Transformation is to split the data rows coming from upstream into multiple downstream pipelines. It's an active transformation and it can have one input group and more than one output group. Usually this particular output group can be divided into two aspects that is user defined output groups and default output groups. The data gets routed to different output groups based on the output group conditions and a given data from an input group can be routed to multiple user defined output groups based on how many output group conditions it does satisfy. Now let's go ahead and have a demo of how to use router transformation using Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Before we go ahead and create a mapping designer task, let's look at the data that we will be using to route it. Here you have a set of employees with employee ID, name and employee region wherein North America, India and APAC are the regions available. Here we will try to create two router output groups conditions and try to see to it that these data rows goes through those output group conditions. Browse Informatica Cloud portal and login using your login ID. Navigate to design mapping tab and click on new mapping to create one. After giving appropriate name, drag drop the source transformation in this case I'm going to configure a source connection which is a flat file select the object and select the router transformation link the output of the source to the router transformation provide a name for the router transformation here as you could see the fields for the input group are being listed here click on the output group you have a default output group already configured by the system try to create user related groups over here. I'm creating one for North America wherein the filter condition is to look for name having North America. I'm going to configure one more group for India region and let's go ahead and configure the filter condition for the second region. Now that we had configured the output groups, let's go ahead and choose target to map these output groups to. Since there are two user defined groups, you could see there are two user defined output modules here connect the output of one module to the target configure the target accordingly select a connection Since I don't have an existing target, I'm going to create one during the runtime. For other output group, region India, let's have one more target.
and create the same at runtime for the second region as well. Now that I had configured the data integration task, I am going to go ahead and run this data integration task. Since this is a mapping, I would need to choose a runtime environment. If you had already configured a mapping configuration task, this would have been saved as part of the task and it would be taken up automatically. The task has been run. The task ran successfully. The task run detail shows you the data rows which had been pushed to the different targets. Let's go ahead and have a look at the data in the flat file, the target CSVs. As you could see, for the India region, there is two data rows and for North America, there is two other. With this, we come to the end of the demo of how to use router transformation. Thanks for watching our video. We would like to hear from you. You can email us at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com infosupport.